three first half touchdowns and a dominating defensive effort helped set the tone for a 34 to 14 victory for the Stoughton High football team on Friday, October 2nd. Stoughton overcame the wind and wet weather, defeating visiting Sharon, improving to two and two on the season. They had some good players and uh, they, they, they pushed hard and uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy we had a couple of returnovers and, and, uh, but we moved the ball pretty good I think. The recipe for success was simple. Stoughton controlled possession of the ball and benefited from favorable field position. And we had the ball, we had the ball, that's the key. You have the ball, they don't have the ball so the team that has the ball the most usually wins. The Black Knights offense had three possessions in the first half each one ending in a touchdown. Christian Hill capped Stoughton's first scoring drive with a four-yard touchdown run to put the Knights up six to nothing with 4.58 left in the first quarter. Touchdown, Black Knights! Ryan Sullivan's seven-yard run at the start of the second quarter gave Stoughton a 12 to nothing lead. Jake Gibb found Jack Connolly for a 24-yard pass on third down earlier in the scoring drive. Hill scored again, this time from five yards out, on Stoughton's third and final drive of the first half. Sullivan added the two-point conversion to give the Black Knights a 20 to nothing lead with two minutes and five seconds left in the second quarter. Stoughton led by that same 20 to nothing score at halftime. Even when Stoughton finally had to punt in the second half, that turned out favorable for the Knights. Sharon fumbled the punt return with Steve Elise recovering giving the ball immediately back to Stoughton. The Knights took advantage, adding to their lead. Jordan Taylor scored from one yard out with three minutes and 57 seconds left in the third. Jordan Taylor, touchdown Stoughton! Guy Eddy added the two-point conversion run to make it 28 to nothing. Sharon was able to get on the board in the fourth quarter with Javon Elisma scoring twice for the Eagles but Stoughton added another score in the final quarter as well. After eyes on Swain Price bounced off tacklers for a 40-yard run, Nick Hardy ran for a touchdown from 10 yards out. Four different Stoughton players ran for touchdowns in the Black Knights' 34-14 win. Touchdown, Black Knights! Um, the running game was pretty great today. There's some holes. Um, we had some problems running inside, but other than that, I, anything outside was pretty great. Christian Hill performed great. Um, I zone Swain Price, Nick Hardy, Ryan Sullivan, JT. Yeah, great job to the whole line for opening up those holes, big, big holes. Yep. Uh, JT bursting up the middle, looked good. Christian on the outside, Sully on the outside. I zone broke one, couldn't get it, but uh, Hardy punched it in. Good stuff. Stoughton's defense also came up big against Sharon. The line performed really well. They, um, they stuck up the kids pretty well, the tough kids, they got physical, that's what we needed. Um, it's week four, so people are finally getting into the rhythm of things, so it's good to have that. Needed the DMs to step up, uh, they did. Um, Chuba had a big game, Soto looked good. Uh, the linebackers were, were plugging away, getting better every week. Uh, it showed us the DBs, keeping everything in front of them. The win over Sharon marked the return of quarterback Jake Gibb to Stoughton's starting lineup. Gibb had been out with an upper body injury since the second half of week one. While the game plan was run oriented, the senior captain's presence was still felt. He makes the right things, he hands the ball off nice, he gets, he has, he has some great control out there which really helps us. After losses to non-division opponents in the first two weeks of the season, Stoughton has started Hockamock League Davenport division play with two straight wins. The Black Knights look to continue the success in the Davenport Division in week number five against Canton on Stoughton's homecoming night. Uh, Birchman State Chapter 2, new season in the Hawk. Uh, had to get it. We're going to keep rolling and move on. Now we got the Bulldogs. Oh,